Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mihir Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to find Jensen's Alpha under the subject Risk Management. Now, this is the very first type of first variation of the sum in which we are asked to find Alpha. Okay, altogether there are three different variations. So, see that you, after watching this video, you all even watch the other two videos. Now, let us see the very first type of sum. Okay, now this is the very first type of problem sum where they ask you to find the alpha. Now the question is they will give you the, the number of years and they will give you the returns of various portfolios. They will give you the beta, they will give you the market return and they will give you a something called a risk free return and they will ask you to find the alpha. Okay, and then you have to say which investment is better. So under such sum, the very first step, okay, the very first step that you need to do is number one in order to find alpha okay alpha is found using jensen's formula and that formula is uh, based on two steps okay number one first will always be calculation of expected return using capm model or capm method now for this the formula of expected return is risk free return plus beta into market return minus the risk free return now using this formula we will find the expected return of both of portfolio a and portfolio b now for portfolio A, so I'll write here expected return for A is risk free return. Now risk free return is given here the RBI bond which gives a risk free return of 5%. So the risk free return is 5%. The beta given in the question is now there are the beta of the two portfolios are 1.3 and 1.2. So I'll take the first one 1.3 that is for A into market return here is given the market portfolio fetches 12 percent so it will be 12 percent minus the risk free return now the risk free is again 5 percent further solving this we will get this as 5 percent plus 12 minus 5 is 7 and 1.3 into 7 will give us 9.1 percent when you add up, you get the expected return of portfolio A as 14.10%. Similarly, we'll find the expected return of portfolio B. Again, risk-free return was 5% plus beta. Here, the beta is 1.2 into market return, which is 12% minus risk-free return, which is again 5%. On solving this, we'll get 5% plus 5, uh, 12 minus 5 is 7, 7 into 1.2 will give us 8.4, the total of which will come to 13.4%. We got the expected return of A, we got the expected return of B. So that's the very first step. Okay, First step is always to get the expected return. Now step number 2, we will have to use the Jensen's alpha formula okay so we write here jensen's alpha formula okay so this is not very simple formula the formula states or is in this form that Jensen's alpha is equal to the actual return minus expected return. Actual return minus expected return. Now, actual return in our form. Now, see there are three, act four actual returns. Okay, in our case. There are different returns for each. So what we'll do is we'll have to take one at a time. So we are going to do first for portfolio A. So 
so i'll note down here portfolio a for portfolio a we have four years so number one year ka alpha will be actual return is 13 minus expected return of a that is 14.1 So that comes to negative 1.1 percent. Same way for second year, it was 13.5 minus 14.1 percent. So that comes to a negative 0.6 percent. Same way for third, it is 12.5 minus 14.1. So that comes to 1.6 percent negative and the fourth year ka it is 14 minus 14.1 so that comes to negative 0.1 percent on totaling it up because since we have four years so i'll total it up total will be negative 3.4 percent okay so the jensen's alpha for the four years of portfolio A is 3.4 percent similarly we'll have to find for portfolio B so portfolio B ke liye, again one first year ke liye, it is 14.35 percent minus the expected return which is 13.4 when you subtract we get the value as positive 0.95 percent same way second it was 11.75 minus 13.4 percent which comes to negative 1.65 percent third year killer in the same order 13.60 minus 13.4 we get the value as negative 20 percent but but this positive and for the fourth year it was 12.90 minus 13.4 we get the value as a negative 0 0.50 percent so when you total it up the total value will come approximately a negative one percent okay 1.00 so i can just write it as one percent so step number one expected return step number two we need to get the alpha now when such kind of sum is given where they have just given you return the next step what you will have to do here is you need to find the alpha factor because there are multiple years in this so our next step third step will be we need to find the alpha factor okay that is nothing but basically the average okay so for portfolio a the alpha factor will be the average okay the average of the total portfolio of the uh, alpha values so it will be 3.4 percent divided by how many years now we have four years so it will be divided by four which comes to a negative okay and, and on top of this, this was negative so it will be negative 0 0.85 percent similarly we we'll need to find for portfolio b so it would be one percent a negative one percent divided by four so that will come to negative 0.25 percent so once we got that alpha factor we need to adjust this in our actual uh, expected return so a final answer step number four we need to find the expected return adjusted for alpha So for the for portfolio A, the expected return was fourteen point one zero percent, and now our alpha factor what we got is negative, so we'll have to less zero point eight five percent on with that, and we will get a final amount as thirteen point two five percent. Okay, so we are finding here the alpha of A and final and similarly for portfolio B okay the alpha will be again the expected return 13.4 less 0 0.25 that is we are going to adjust it 
तो द वैल्यू विल कम टू थर्टीन पॉइंट वन फाइव परसेंट सो दिस इज हाउ यू नीड टू सॉल्व द सम वेन दे गेव यू वेन यू नीड टू फाइंड बेसिकली दी अल्फा वेन दे गिव यू टू पोर्टफोलियोज इन परसेंटेज दे गिव यू द बीटा दे गिव यू मार्केट रिटर्न एंड दे गिव यू रिस्क फ्री रिटर्न तो दिस इज द फोर स्टेप्स दैट नीड टू बी सॉल्व इन ऑर्डर टू सॉल्व सच सम I hope everyone have understood. Now this is the first type of sum under alpha. Okay, there are two more different variation in the sum which we'll be learning ahead. I hope everyone has understood this. The second part and the third part for both uh, different videos will be posted. So see that you all even view those particular videos. With that we'll be ending this video here. Thank you.